Hello there, my name is Derek, and I'm a writer over at ClassicGameRoom.com where I've reviewed stuff like Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, and Bioshock 2. And this is my take on Block Party for the Nintendo Wii. <laughs> Well, this is what pinching your pennies gets you. Let's be honest, there have been some awful games shoveled onto Wii over the last few years. Some truly, truly awful games. But just when you thought things couldn't get any worse, a new contender for the title of worst Wii game ever made has arrived. Watch your back, Ninja Bread Man. <laughs> And what's amazing is that somebody looked at this game, thought it over, and actually decided, hey, great job. We should sell this to people. So this is going to come as a shock, but Block Party is a collection of mini-games. And I know what you're thinking, a mini-game collection on Wii. Now I've heard of everything. But get this, in most of the mini-games, you shake the remote. I know, crazy, right? As far as I can tell, Block Party has two major selling points, both of which are intended to appeal to unsuspecting parents shopping for their kids. First, it's a budget price game to appeal to kids, and as the cover shouts via bold blue text, there are 20 games which come out to roughly a buck a game. And that seems like a pretty good deal, right? I mean, it's like the dollar menu. Everyone loves the dollar menu. Until they get home, that is, and their stomach feels like a burlap sack with a disgruntled porcupine inside. And that's sort of what you'll feel like while you're playing Block Party. <laughs> Let's talk actual content for a moment. Block Party features 20 minigames, most of which are comprised of objectives you've likely done a thousand times before in a thousand different Wii minigame collections. Obligatory stuff like tracing the line on the screen is included, so you can, you know, breathe easy. And, and then there's stuff like this. I don't even know what to say about this. Apart from being a collection of some of the dumbest games I've ever seen, Block Party fails in execution as much as it does in concept. And that is a staggering feat. To be fair, some of the games control better than others, they're technically playable, but the vast majority of these minigames control pretty poorly, a problem exacerbated by how generic most of them are to begin with. You'll mostly just be waggling your arms as fast as you can, or arbitrarily following button prompts. It's as boring as it is broken. And then there's the presentational problems. And the Wii isn't exactly regarded as a showpiece for cutting-edge graphics, but even so, Block Party takes things to new lows. I mean, really, this is an ugly, bland, effortless looking game. And the unsightly appearance is about more than technical mumbo jumbo like blurry textures and simple geometry. It, it has a lot more to do with design. Plenty of Wii games get by with great art design, but Block Party looks like someone took a box of Crayola, dumped it into a blender, and mixed it with like three cups of polychromatic vomit. <laughs> But you know what's even worse than boring games and bad controls? Misleading consumers. You see that? You see the, the horseshoes and the frisbee? These illustrations imply their inclusion in the game, right? I mean, what other logical conclusion could one reach based on their presence on the cover? Well, they're not. At no point do you play with either in this game. And to me, that's pretty appalling. And there might as well be unicorns on the cover. Either unicorns or, you know, brain hemorrhages. Listen, I, I know Block Party is intended for kids. I mean, it would have to be. The only other possible audience would be leprechauns, and I don't think many of them own a Wii. Or maybe unicorns with brain hemorrhages. Okay.